Hello, my name is Art Small, a Solution Architect with Zero to Ten. Today we will be covering service management and overview of the service product in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. As part of the review of CRM today, we will be covering customers, whether they be accounts or contacts, cases, which include identifying the customer, the subject, the activities, the case process, and resolving the case knowledge base articles, queue management, and service level agreements, including entitlements, a potential flow that a customer service representative may follow would start off with answering the customer inquiry, establishing a case, picking a case up from queue or routing it through appropriate queues, interacting with the customer, and then finally resolving the issue. We begin our CRM journey on the Customer Service Representative Dashboard. In order to be able to navigate CRM, you can use the top panel, select your work area, and then select the specific work area that you would like to interact with, such as dashboards, companies, contacts, or the cases. Queues and other items are available. This is all based upon a security model which will limit the amount of information shown to just that information appropriate for the user's role. There can be multiple dashboards that the user could make use of. Dashboards include the ability to have a personal dashboard. Some of the information that a customer service representative may be interested in tracking includes cases by SLA status, cases by mix, open activities, cases by mix of the priority, resolution of prior cases, and monitoring company announcements. Dashboards can also be interacted with by going into a large scale view, choosing a field in which to break down the information, for example looking at cases by their particular type, or looking at a whole list of cases alongside their appropriate dashboard. In this manner, we can click on appropriate areas of the chart and it will filter to just those records contained. One can then open up the case directly, open up the customer, or perform additional analysis. Another area of interaction that many customer service representatives will deal in is in the queues. For example, this customer service representative may wish to select an item from queue to assign it to themselves. Here, we'll be selecting it from the need assignment. We can pick up this case, and this case can now be added to the user's personal list of cases. Switching to the items that this representative is working on, we can see that they have three cases in their personal queue. This includes the case they just picked up. Another way that many customer service representatives interact with their customers is via email. Here we can see an email from Susan McKay about a problem that she's having. We can track this case, which will make it part of CRM and we can also make it regarding a particular record in the CRM. For example, noise from product. We can then either convert this to a case if it doesn't already exist, or open up the case directly from our email. Returning back to our CRM browser, we can also navigate to cases that, or other items that have been looked at recently via the recent records, and we can open up that case that was in the email, which is also in queue. This is a case. We can see that the modern layout of Dynamic Serum makes use of the full screen. Along the top of the record, we see the name of the case, along with the business process flow, or the process bar. The process bar allows us to have a standardized approach that all CSR reps will take in trying to work a case. The 
process bar is not limited just to one particular flow, and there can be multiple processes. So for example, if a process is appropriate for a different business unit, that could be the default for that business unit. The process flow allows us to know what is the major order in which we need to conduct uh, the work, including for this example, identify, research, and resolve. We can click into some of the other areas and get a preview of what will be done during those portions, as well as it outlines those major activities that should be followed. And it will prevent us to, from moving to the next stage until at least all of the required items have been filled out, which in this case we can now move forward into researching the product. In addition to switching business processes, process flows may include tangent processes. For example, if a product is needed to be ordered, it can insert a tangent process. And in this way, we see some additional activities that would need to be completed to be able to place an order for the customer. Underneath the business process flow is the general left, center, right navigation or layout. This is common throughout all of the entities of CRM, however may be adjusted based upon your company's preferences. Along the left, we see high-level case information. In the center, we have our post, activities, and notes. And on the right, we have reference information. With regards to the posts, we see that there is a mix of conversational style information going on, which is of a Facebook or LinkedIn type of feel, as well as major activities or major updates that have occurred with regards to this case. Activity allows us to be able to perform one-off actions, including phone calls, tasks, phone emails, appointments, or other custom activities. It's easy to add in a new activity, such as a new task, provide a description, and assign due date or other information as necessary. Closing an activity is likewise easy by using the complete button and you can notice a visual change to represent that the activity has now been completed. As we work our major cases, typically customers like to have some sort of service level agreements. In this area, we see the service level agreement clock as it counts down to indicate if we are in violation or approaching violation of our service level agreement with our customer. Here we can see we have met our first SLA, however the second is still in progress. We may research other cases by trying to find similar cases. This would allow us to be able to interact with the database of past cases that have already been resolved and look at some of the troubleshooting information and or um, records that were kept for the solutions that were provided. In addition to finding cases, doing research via activities, a representative may make use of a knowledge base. The knowledge base are preset articles established by your staff. These articles can be sorted through a variety of means, including by the subject, where one can go ahead and pick the appropriate article that seems to match the situation. And then they can view the details of this article so that they know how to resolve the issue for the customer. Sometimes CSRs may need to look at other information in CRM in order to be able to complete the process of helping them. We can navigate to the customer or to the contact and in so doing reference the appropriate information. For example, we can see that this company has multiple opportunities open. Returning back to the case, we can finish any activities that may be outstanding, complete all follow-up options that are needed, for example including ordering products, and then when it's finally appropriate, we can resolve the case.
customer service representatives are not the only people who need to use CRM. For example, customer service managers can monitor a different dashboard whereby they can see what's happening across all of the various cases that are underway for this company. Another function that many customer service managers will want to undertake is monitoring cases by SLA so that cases do not become and unfortunately, a non-compliant state. A customer service ma manager may wish to examine a particular case and either then reassign the case, pick it up to work for themselves, or route it to another queue. So, for example, they may wish to route it to an escalation queue where it can get additional information at a quicker pace. For many companies, a customer service representative or customer service manager may need to exercise the use of CRM while they are out in the field. Dynamic CRM can be used quite easily through any mobile tablet as well as the related smartphones. Here we can see on the dashboard a customer service representative being able to keep track of everything that they would while they are in the office. While out in the field, the customer service representative may navigate via the available items in the menu drop-down, or like they could in the office, they could use the search capability, which will return all related records. So for example, they could use the AT&T Corporation, find the address, or call the customer and navigate to them, and then while they're in the field, they can look up the appropriate issue, which allows them access to be able to see the business process flow, monitor, the information on the field and work on any open activities or create any notes needed. For example, while they're on the field and they want to go ahead and update this task, it's very easy to go ahead and tap into the description and add appropriate information. Smartphones as well as some tablets may have voice dictation capabilities, which will greatly increase the efficiency of the representative while they are out in the field enabling them to complete multiple notes and save as much time as possible. Thank you for watching this overview of service management. If you would like to see more, please contact us.